Welcome everyone. I'm from Tunisia. We started the revolution, we're still there anyway. <laughs> uh, I'd like to talk about this ecosystem. But first I have a question. This is a difficult question. One million dollar question. What is the most important tool for innovation? Hmm? People, yes. It's a cup of coffee. Why it's a cup of coffee? Because, but that was true, that was, uh, uh, I had a lot of researchers from all over the world get together and ask it what was in research center the most effective way to innovate. It's just, so all the bright ideas came during coffee breaks because it's a network of people. And what if I start by that because in Tunisia, if you see all the element, infrastructure is quite good compared to our country. Our cost in ADSL are 10 times lower than those of Lebanon, for example. We have 80 research centers. Apparently they are searching but not still finding because they publish <laughs> a lot of, of papers, good papers, but we didn't see a lot of innovation in startups. And we have all those funds that have been there, maybe 15 funds. We have a bank of small enterprise innovation, but that doesn't go through because people, they do not connect to each other. In fact, the problem is this morning we have someone who said about security, tracts and bureaucrats who stop innovations. And that's true, because those people are in silos, organization, and they do not connect. And in order to have innovation, you have to connect. And that's why we created our association. Amer Khalel from Carthage Business Angel, uh, Business Angel Association is the first association in Tunisia. We started in 2011, just after the revolution. And our so, and we did an innovation in Tunisia this year, which is, you see those people and they're connecting. Well, we did a weekend where we invited everyone from the government and from the private and from business angels and VCs together to create a shared vision of digital Tunisia. And you know, you see what happened? It was, the minister was there full time and he had a, he had a guest. And this guest became the minister after. And we did a new one six months later, and the new guest became also now Minister of, of Digital Economy. And they are, and when we have this meeting, we have everyone, even old ministers, new ministers, and the happen is that, you know, people began talking to each other, and all the biases and the judgment go out. So, what do we do? In business, we do, we bridge the innovation process gaps. And we found that, you know, in the, in the USA, there is 400,000 business angels. In UK, 40,000. In France, 4,000. Well, in Tunisia, 40. Still, still starting. You know, these are, we have three gaps, actually. We have the cultural gap. What is a cultural gap? We have the idea that money is more important than ideas. I have seen a lot of people coming with great ideas, said, okay, you work with me and I give you 10% of the profit. So people value money more than ideas. In USA, it's the contrary. I mean, money is the, it's the ideas that are worth the price. And even in the, our legislation system, we do not have a way to incorporate ideas in capital. There is no legal way. I mean, in, in, the, in the USA, it's much more advanced. You know, in, uh, in the Silicon Valley, I have a friend who was in Seattle. At 20 years, he was, I want to go to the Silicon Valley. I said, why? I mean, Seattle is a great place. No, because in Silicon Valley, there is an ecosystem where I can every day for seven days a week, 18 hours in order to develop my product. Because there is everything there is connected. You can have someone who takes your clothes, 
Okay, or you have a place, you have lawyers, you have VCs, everyone is there and they connect to each other. So this is a first gap that we have to fill in. The second thing is money gap. And money gap is between the idea. You know, you will find bank for, 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 sm for uh, companies, small companies, but for innovation. I went to the bankers and said, well, what are your guarantees? No, what do you mean guarantee? We don't have guarantee, we have ideas. No, uh, I mean, uh, okay, do you, have your, do you have a house? Then I can give you money. Of course, most of the people, uh, I, banks are not good for funding innovations because innovation is too risky and the risk is limited. But even for VCs, they do not put ideas. So you have all this gap and this is where business angels come in. Business angels say, okay, you have an idea. For me, my idea is worth, your idea is worth. So I will put 40 and take 40% and you get your idea of 60%. This is the kind of a new bridging the money gap. Otherwise, we have thousands of great, great ideas, but we don't have startups. And finally, the legislation gap. In Tunisia, if you invest through a fund, well, you get tax, you get tax, income tax rebates, but for business angels, someone who is willing to take a risk, you don't have any rebate. In the USA or in Singapore, the only people who get tax rebates are people who take risk, who are business angels. And uh, when I went to Saudi Arabia, I remember I had this meeting and they told me, you understand why we are not interested in startups? I mean, we can make money much easier because we have tax rebates on everything. So this is a workaround that we have to do. So we are, we identify support innovative projects. We try to mentor, to do the mentoring and the expertise with small entrepreneurs. And for this, we are in partnership with a, a private incubator because business angel alone cannot do anything. Because you see, in the process of startup, we have in average, when we have 100 business plan that are pitching, only five get funded. So you have 95. So you have to create a huge amount of, of business plans. And then when you find good ideas, people are not still willing to put their money. I mean, so you have to, to go through an incubator. And we had had in Tunisia public incubators. We have technic, tech parks for 20 years. And we had good companies, but they are not very innovative because the government does not have the people who, who have this mentoring power. Because, I mean, they are people who work with the government. Then we had Wiki Startup, the first private business center, incubators. And we have been, about, you know, we have been conducting one, uh, we have one pitch session every one month. And we are amazed by the quality of the ideas. Like this morning, I was also amazed by the quality of the startup, quality of ideas. The problem is, so, okay, so even if you win a competition, you know, we had done a study that even people who win the competition, few end up creating their own company and succeeding. So now we created Capital Ease, which is a business angel fund. It's a seed fund for the money. So you have to be together, the three. It's, you have to have the, the association, you have to have the incubator, and you have to have the seed fund working together to create, to begin creating this ecosystem. Otherwise, now we are working with the Center of Energy for Executive Development. This is, those are do the, the mentoring and the coaching. The National Agency of Promotion of Scientific Research to try to get the ideas, to get the flow from the research center and from GIZ, which is uh, known for this management program. Now we began constructing an ecosystem. However, these are the three purposes. First, innovation. You know, there are countries where innovation is God. Not God, not so, but not only. But there are people who are s s 
specialized in getting government grants. That needs a lot of innovation. And then we have to really innovate. So you know, we have all these funds in Tunisia for more than 20 years. So Mise à Niveau, which is upgrading, Fond d'Amorsal, and all these have been working. The problem is they are all coming from different ministries and different organizations in the government who doesn't speak to each other. So it doesn't work well. Well, it works. It, we have some. We, had, we are able, I was able to finance about 10. So, but that's nothing compared to the potential that we have. And we end up with a circle like this, where a lot of actors, but who doesn't speak together. So, we have a density of actor, impressive resources, knowledge. We have a lot of competition, a lot of incubation program, but there is no communication. Legislation is not adapted. There is a weak deal flow, skills gap, and we have to work through that. So, in order not to end up with like this, where you have everything of paper that is great, but actually it doesn't work, then just, and you, you, you can have dozens of children that we have today, especially after the revolution. We have Qatar Foundation Fund, EBRD, World Bank, 15 government funds. So we have coaching. But what is the RECIP? So, RECIPs gather every important actor in the economy, where they meet and connect with each, align their vision and remove some biases and judgment. Make BAs and incubators really work together under a shared vision. And then let civil society become close friends with people who make legislation. Those are people that are very powerful, but they do not talk to others. And if we get that, then they will change the law. And then you have a, we have a very good energy system. And then reduce the age of decision maker. That's a difficult one, but because I believe that people under 35 are the only true innovator today. We are only over 35, so we are mentoring innovation. And then let the country become a huge cafe and you'll have innovation. Thank you.